and welcome back. Well, let's just pop over now. Zoom around. Now then, we're looking at this along here. Um, I'm going to start with this vertices here. I actually, pull that up. Pull that one up. Just move around a little bit. Let's bring that one out of touch. There. I'm looking at that frame helper there. I'm just pulling that out so it just clips it a little bit. Let's pop down. Move this one up. Move that one up. Remember, this has got to start flaying out. So, it becomes wider around this section. And as you can see on that helper there, see how that graying there that's just come out of that section. Zoom around a little bit. Yep. Right. Have a look here. I'm going to grab that one there. Pull up there and just take it out of touch. That one. Let's pull it up and back. It's going through the middle of that one. I'm not too worried. That's I can live with that. Let's have a look. That one. Pull up. This one. This really is just shaping everything at the moment. Um, once we've done this, we'll actually apply the Turbo Smooth once again. Move that about there. Let's have a look. Now I know I'm going to sort out our. Oh, I know I have to sort out this back section here. Let's just click on that one and then we can rotate about that. We've got three vertices there. So press the control, select that and that, so we've got three now. And Pull it out. About there. Let's have a look. Yep. Same with these three here. One there. Press control, select that one. And it's about there. This is a little bit of faffing about. I don't know if I really should be faffing about with it this much. Okay, what I'm going to do is just pull out a little bit. We're going to apply the Turbo Smooth, see what it's like. Hit Alt X. And let's have a look around. It's fairly tight there. Let's just press F4. Bit of artifacting down there. Now we've hit Turbo Smooth, or we've applied Turbo Smooth to the stack. 
and there is a reason that we didn't uh, retain the turbo smooth for the wing previously. Um, as far as this is concerned, there's only so many times that you can use the turbo smooth. If you have a look down here in the main, it's got something called iterations, and at the moment it's showing one. Now, iterations simply sets the number of times that the mesh is subdivided. So if we increase that to two, as you can see, it's been subdivided again. And if we set it to one, I know that the maximum, as far as I'm concerned, is two. So if we set it to one, at this stage we could go around and modify these vertices and reshape it. And then we've got one more time to actually increase the iteration. So we have to be, you've got to think about when you're going to use the turbo smooth. It will make sense a little bit later on. Anyway, let's just have a quick look around again. Yes, yeah, so there's some artifact in there that I need to look at. What about underneath? Geometry needs a little bit of sorting out there and also let's have a look. in this section here. I think what we'll do at this stage is unhide the fuselage. So up to our layers manager fuselage, we're going to unhide that, close that. Now we left the turbo smooth in the stack there so let's just switch that on Let's actually select. That's better. <laughs> right, we didn't leave a turbo smooth on, so let's include a turbo smooth. And let's have a look at it. Well, actually, that's meeting the fuselage quite well in that area there. It's this section here that it's not, which I expected anyway. Um, so we've got to do some modification in there so that it goes up, meets the fuselage here. Um, as far as the fuselage is concerned, we need to modify around here just to shape it a little bit more. But I'm pleased with that. It's getting there. You can see how it comes around. It's flowing nicely down here. So it's just this section, this section there. Let's do Alt X, select the wing, Alt X, remove the turbo smooth from that. Okay, so let's get cracking, and I'm going to increase the tempo here now. So I need to drag these vertices across here. Um, we're trying to pull them back and into the fuselage. I think this area is about one of the most difficult because what we have to do is maintain this floor down to this section. So we're shaping it in well, two directions in three dimension. I actually enjoy working this way. Now I do know that um, we also have to adjust the fuselage in a bit because there's um, the section near the cockpit which I want to delete and then we can 
turbo smooth it. I made a mistake there. All I'm going to do now is straighten that out. select this lot and pull it back a little bit it's not looking too bad let's pull that one up there now this it's a bit of a bulge there so I just want to ease that in those areas there same on top here let's have a go there that's it that's not looking too bad you know Right, just adjust those a bit and try a turbo smooth now. Okay, perhaps a little bit more work around here. Alright, I'm going to select the fuselage, do Alt X. Yeah, turn off turbo smooth go to vertices let's go alt x again just rotate around take that back grab these take those back there some vertices down there so grab those I'm selecting some others there. Undo, undo. Select that one. Press Control. Select that one. Pull those back a little bit there. Pop inside. Come on. Let's make our job a little bit easier. Select those. Pull that back a little bit. just shaping it okay uh, mindful of the time we'll leave this until the next session and um, I'm going to work on the fuselage up near the cockpit area there and then we going to apply uh, the turbo smooths to them. Okay, I'll catch you in a bit.